Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today our topic is schematic. As in our previous lecture, we discussed the Arduino component detail and the functionality of different components. Today we will discuss the schematic. So let's have a look at schematic, how it looks like. That is the schematic of the Arduino board. There it is. There is the Arduino Uno. That one is the schematic. Don't need to be afraid here. We, I just want to show it. That how schematics looks like. We will discuss the schematic of Arduino in our next lecture. In today lecture, we will only understand the basics of the schematic. So, to understand the basics of the schematic, let's have a look at some sample circuits. Here we will discuss the schematic of that. So before discussing it, let's introduce the schematics. Schematic is a simple wire representation of the electronic circuits. What is it? Schematic is a simple wire representation. Schematic is used as a guide. We can use it as a guide to develop to make an electronic circuit designed to be read easily and understandable. Schematic is designed for understanding, for our understanding, each wire, as you can see, each line in the schematic represent a wire. Here it is, and each symbol in the schematic represents a physical component. Here, that one represents a physical component. That is the resistor symbol. So. Let's move towards some more basics. You usually see in the schematic that symbol, this zigzag symbol represents the resistor in the schematic, but it's not, impo not important that we use always this this symbol for resistor it may be represented by that symbol so resistor is actually used to restrict the flow of current so resistor can also be represented by a simple rectangle and by a zigzag symbol let's move towards the Next component here it is there is the die board. If we use these two arrows with the die board, it is represents an LED in our electronic circuits. Let's look like that. And when we use this schematic, we will have to understand that it rep represents the LED. What does it mean by LED? Light emitting diodes. So the battery source, here it is, is represented by this symbol. That that line represents the positive, and the smaller one represents the negative side. And we will increase these number of lines if we have a lot. If we have more plates in our battery, so that's all for now. In our next lecture, we will discuss the schematic of the Arduino board. After it, we will discuss and start the Alien software for designing the each component of the Arduino UNO board. Thanks. If you have any question, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you.